Hi, welcome to SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. This is Into the Weekend with Bet DSI, the uh, very popular show we do every week with Brent, the headlines manager at DSI Sportsbook. And right now we're looking ahead to college football week 12, NFL week 11. Brent, thanks for being back with us this week. Good to be with you, Peter. All right, we'll start off with uh, college football week 12. It's Friday afternoon right now, so we're going to get, uh, you know, very complete information here. Uh, you know, there's not that many marquee games. The only game I really want to make sure we uh, get to is Stanford-USC. Very interesting game, of course, Stanford coming off of the uh, the Oregon win there has been I have heard some some speculation that USC might be a sharp side though is that is that the case USC a sharp side yeah you would be correct Peter okay right <laughs> <laughs> yeah no with USC plus four was sharp money and this is definitely a case where we got public money on Stanford sharp money on USC um, as you would call it, the oil money is on Stanford right. got big money on Stanford there. It counts about three to one on them. The money is about three to one as well. So we're back down to three and a half. They, they took USC plus the four. That was, that's, that's, I mean, it's the biggest volume game we have in the entire weekend. And it's also a case where we've got the public on one side, sharps on the other. Wow, that's interesting because, you know, this week I wanted to ask you about, you know, the, the highest volume game. Of course, I'm always looking for sharp public splits. The Stanford-USC game I only asked you about because it's like, you know, a marquee matchup. Interesting, but you're saying it's both the highest volume game and with a distinct sharp public split. Yeah, it's really good because we've got the sharps throw on, on USC, so the count might be lower with them <clears throat> because they usually have a, a higher bankroll. They're betting more in terms of dollar volume. And oil money, public money, as we talked about, the public can eat that up. And right. the count of three, one in favor of Stanford kind of drowns that out. So <clears throat> right now we actually, with the sharps on USC, we need them to win, and, and we're comfortable there, of course, with them being a home dog. All right, well, that was the only specific game that I wanted to get to. There's you know a lot of interesting uh, matchups, but no other you know marquee big games that uh, I want to make sure that we touched on. Uh, then I was just going to ask you about, you know, the two games with the uh, with the biggest volume and and the lowest volume uh, of the card. But I guess we already talked about the biggest volume game, right? Yeah, there's a couple other ones out there, though. I mean, you may it's not maybe not a high profile game like Stanford USC, but the the people in Georgia and Auburn might disagree, and that's been a, a really highly bet game right. for us as well. Georgia is at Auburn. Auburn's a three and a half point favorite at home with a total of 64. Um, the count's about, uh, and money's probably about 4-1 to one in terms of Auburn right now, so we're needing Georgia, and uh, got a lot of over money there as well, over 63, 63 and a half, but that's been a very, very highly bet game as well, and probably the third on the list would be Indiana at Wisconsin. Mm. Um, this is also a case, actually, where I've got a, a lot of sharp money on Indiana. They were taking the Indiana plus 27. I've got, like, about three or four guys who are on Indiana plus 27. Lines out there right now are Wisconsin, usually around 26, 26 and a half, so it's still, still close to the number, but uh, it's been a ton of money that counts about three to one in terms of Wisconsin and the money's really close. So uh, it's not a, it's not a, you know, a huge sharp public split, mm -hmm. split, but there's definitely a, you know, a bias with the sharps on Indiana public, mostly laying Wisconsin at home. And again, that would be probably the, the second or third highest bet game on the whole board in terms of low. Well, let let game, me ask you about that game for yeah, a second then, yeah, because sure. you said the sharps came on, on Indiana at 27, but that line was like, you know, 21 and a half, 22 and a half, 23 and a half earlier in the week. What drove that money up? What drove that line up? Just, just big bets mostly. I mean, there's, uh, there's, uh, there's people out there who are still sitting at 25 and a half. I know it's like, mm -hmm. okay, 21 and a half, up to 25 and a half is still a big move. But earlier on, when you, when you crack that number open, usually you get, you know, it takes one bet to move it a full point, especially when you're at a number that high, when you're up to, you know, 22s and 23s. All right. So then the, all, all that Wisconsin money was, uh, that wasn't sharp action then? No, it was big bet. And again, the public's on Wisconsin as well. The right. count favors Wisconsin about a little bit more than, than three to one right now. So we're sitting with a, with a count in favor of Wisconsin, money dead even, which is usually you know an indication of a, a public and sharp split. And probably closer to the game time, that'll stay that course, I believe. I think they were, they were sitting there taking Indiana plus a 27. Anything lower, I doubt they will. All right, so now let's just get to the uh, the open-ended question from the, from the rest of the card. What can you tell us about uh, sharp public and sharp public splits action from the rest of the card, College Football Week 12? Okay, well, we touched on Indiana. That was definitely a sharp play, plus mm -hmm. the 27. Uh, moving down, NC State at Boston College. The under 54 was sharp. We're sitting like at 53, 53 and a half right now. So the under in that game was a definite sharp play. Um, Akron, minus six and a half. That's, that was a sharp play there. Laying seven now on the road at Massachusetts. I'm, nothing on UMass at all. Like, I've got, I've got no volume on them, even sitting at seven. So that line may go up again. We, we've got nothing on them. Sharps laid six and a half on Akron. Uh, Texas Tech at Baylor, the under is sharp. Uh, a, under 85 and a half, under 84 and a half. We're sitting at 84 right now. Baylor is at home, a 28-point favorite to Texas Tech. Again, the total is 84 now. 
Boise State, the uh, sharp side, that was 21 and a half and 22 and a half they laid. We're sitting at 23 right now. They're at home to Wyoming and uh, Oklahoma State, Texas. There's another, another underplay. They played under 64 and a half right now. We're sitting at 63. That's Oklahoma State's uh, minus three, dog 15, and a total of 63 now. And we touched on USC being a definite sharp play there. They're at home to Stanford. The Sharps took them getting four. We're lying at is three and a half right now. And last one would be San Diego State at Hawaii, the last game on the board. They laid San Diego State minus the four. Mm. We're four and a half, four or five on the board right now. All right. Well, I'm glad we got this information because I'll tell you what, I was leaning over in that uh, North Carolina State-Boston College game. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. But with the, uh, with the UMass line, though, I actually was kind of leaning UMass myself, but that line went down. I mean, that was way over seven. Uh, I think it was like seven and a half at least uh, just uh, very recently. So, uh, so something drove that line under seven. Well, like I said, the Sharps took the six and a half, and we're sitting seven right now, and, it, and I got nothing the other way. Like, I've got, like, nothing on Massachusetts at all. Um, it could be, you know, early action was just a board move. People were dropping because, you know, they didn't get action trying to track it or whatever. Sometimes you kind of feel out a number and saying, stick it up there and saying, okay, is this number going to balance action? And if you get no action, what do you do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah no. you, 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 you might move your number anywhere and say, okay, this is where the Sharps get. This is where the public sees and go from there. I'm just saying that you say, you're telling us that you got nothing back on the other side on, on UMass, but, but something, that's a pretty significant move. You know, seven and a half to six and a half. Something made that line move, right? Yeah, I mean, it's a significant move. Yeah, I mean, obviously the number seven is, is bigger right. in NFL than it is in college. But uh, but I'm talking, you know, I can tell you what happened here. I can look at everyone in this building and see who the, who the action is on. And in terms of mass, I've got nothing on it, like even the big boys who we sit next to. Hmm. Okay, great info as always. Now let's move on to uh, NFL Week 11. <laughs> 